Welcome back to the channel. This is Nicholas from Morales, and this is episode number 10 of our tutorial series where we are cloning a wearable using Morales. In the previous episode, we finished up our uh, feature of listing the items owned by the current user. And in this episode, we will write the contract for the marketplace itself. So let's get going. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is to create a sol file for our market. So we can call it just uh, marketplace.sol. All right, and then here we can just uh, copy the first two, three lines from our token here, and we will use the, we will, we will add an I here, so we will use the I ERC seven twenty one dot sol, and then we can start writing our contract. So contract, uh, we can call it morarable um, markets contract, and uh, let's uh, open up here, and then we will define an auction item. So struct auction item and uh, for each item we need uh, an id so uint256 id uh, we will need uh, the address of the token so address uh, token address we will also need the the token id so uh, uint256 token id uh, we will need uh, the address of uh, the seller so that we can uh, later pay the seller. So we need uh, address uh, payable uh, seller. We need uh, the price of the item. So you int 256 uh, asking price. We need uh, also a flag to indicate if the item has been sold or not. So let's do a bool uh, is sold. So that's enough for our item. Then we need uh, to, de de to define an array of uh, these items. Uh, so auction item array, and we can make it uh, public. Or actually, yeah, we can make it public. And um, we can call it uh, items uh, for sale. And then we can define a mapping that will map uh, the token address here. So let's uh, make an uh, address and map that to another mapping. And that will take uh, uint 256 and uh, map that to a uh, Boolean. And uh, what uh, we can call this uh, active items. And um, the purpose of this is to have, since we're, we don't want to loop through an array, through this array to see if uh, a specific item is on sale or not. So this is the purpose of this active items. And then we can, uh, for each token address, because the marketplace will support uh, many kinds of tokens. So for each token address, we will check so that the token ID of that address uh, has a flag of either true or false, where true is that this item is uh, act, uh, currently on sale. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, let's uh, define two events, one for when the item is added and one for the, when the item is sold. So let's do event and we can call it item added. And we can take an uh, uint256 of the ID, uh, of the auction item ID. We can take a uh, uint256 of the token ID and then uh, the address, not at mod, address of uh, the token address and then um, we also want to do the asking price so let's copy this very good and then we can copy this and call this item sold we need the id we need the the buyer so the new owner we can call it the uh, buyer uh, and uh, the price for which it was sold. And uh, then we can start to define some modifiers. So let's do modifier. And this is to check so that uh, the color, color is the owner of the item. So only item owner. Owner. And uh, it will take the address of the token address. And it will take the token um uh, ID so token ID 
And uh, inside here, we can define an IERC 711 uh, interface, and we can call it the token contract. And uh, we'll set that equal to an IERC 721 uh, at this token address. So now we have an interface for this, and then we can check, uh, we can require that uh, the token contract, the token contract dot owner of this token ID is in fact the message dot sender. So we're checking so that uh, the caller uh, is uh, in fact the owner of this uh, specific token. And then we can go ahead and run uh, the next, uh, the continuation. And uh, then we can copy this and uh, we can check the, if this marketplace has the approval of transferring this item on behalf of the user. So we can call this uh, has uh, transfer approval. And we can keep these parameters. We can keep the contract here, but we check uh, get approved of this uh, token ID and we want to check so that the, the approved address is address um, of this, the address of this contract. And then we can go ahead and continue. Then we need uh, another one, modifier, and we can call this uh, item exists. And uh, we have a UN256, the ID of uh, the auction item. And we can just check and uh, require uh, that uh, the ID, first of all, is less than uh, items um, for sale uh, dot length. And also uh, that uh, the items, um, items for sale of uh, the ID index dot ID is also the ID. So this way we, we check so that this item uh, in fact exists. And if it does not, we can say uh, could not find item or something. And then we continue. And uh, then we can create uh, a last one. So let's copy this and we do is for sale. Is for sale. And uh, what we do here is that we check so that the item of the current index um, is sold is false. False. And we can say item is already sold. Item is already sold. Like that. All right. Now let's uh, just uh, define two uh, functions, one for adding the item and one for binding the item. So let's do function uh, add item to market. And this will take uh, uint um, to 56 of the uh, token ID. And then we will take the address uh, of the token address. And then we will take the price. So uint to 56 asking price. And uh, then we will uh, use some modifiers. First, we want to check so that only the owner of the item can add it. So we call uh, only uh, only item owner. And we pass inside uh, the token address like this, and also the token ID. And then we want also to check so that uh, this contract has the approval of uh, transferring this item on behalf of the user. So we do uh, the has transfer approval, and we copy these two parameters as well. And uh, then we can mark this as uh, external, and uh, it returns it returns the IU uh, and two six, and this is the the ID of uh, the item. This ID. All right. So let's uh, start coding here. So first of all, we want to require that um, this item, active items of uh, this uh, token address, remember our mapping, uh, and the token ID of the second mapping, 
uh, is uh, false so that this item is not already on sale and if it is we can say item is already uh, up for sale and then we can uh, get a new id and we can define the id of the item and we do that by uint um, 256 of uh, we can call it the new item id we set that equal to items for sale dot length like this and then we do uh, items for sale dot push and we push a new uh, auction item and uh, remember uh, the things that uh, it wanted it wants first the item id uh, then uh, it wants the token address so the token address then it wants the token id and then uh, it wants um, a payable address so we can do a uh, payable of the, the message dot sender we cast this and then uh, we do the asking price and uh, we set false to uh, if it's sold or not because it's not sold by default otherwise what would be the point all right so now we've pushed it to our items for sale. What we want to do now is that we want to set this uh, to true. This, uh, we can copy this. The active items of the, this address for this token is now true. It's now up for sale. And then we can uh, just assert that uh, the items uh, for sale of um, this uh, new ID um dot id is equal to new item id just to check and then uh we can emit the event emit uh item added and uh, we want to emit the new item id and we want to emit uh, the item uh token token id the token address and uh, asking price like this and then we return uh, the new item id okay and then our last function is to buy an item so function uh, buy item and uh, the user sends in the id of the item that uh, the user wants to buy and this is a payable function it's uh, external uh we want to check so that the item exists um of this id we want to check that it is for for sale is for uh, sale this id and uh, we want to check again so that it has the transfer approval uh, and we can access here the the items for sale of the ID, the token address of, of, of that, and also the, the address and the token ID. So let's do this. And uh, it should be uh, enough. And then we open up like this. We need a dot here. OK. So let's buy this item. What do we need to do? First, we want to require that uh, the message dot value um, is uh, higher than or equal to the the price. So we do this dot asking price, and uh, if not, then we can say not enough uh, funds sent like this and then we can also check so that uh, the buyer is not the seller so require that the msg dot sender uh, is not equal to uh, th this dot seller and uh, then we can uh, mark this as sold dot uh, is sold equals true so now 
um, this will now return false so no no one else can buy this item and uh, then we also want to set uh, this um, hold on where are we this active items to false Uh, and we can use these parameters. Cut this. Cut this. Okay. Now we're on track. And now we need to define again um, and send uh, this. Uh, we want to transfer this uh, token. So we can do. Uh, I E R C uh, seven twenty one uh, of uh, this token address, and uh, we want to do a safe trans transfer from, and we want to transfer from um, the seller's address seller to the message dot sender. And uh, the ID is uh, the token ID, and we have that here. Good. So now we've transferred that, and now let's just transfer the funds. So items uh, for sale of the current index uh, for this item, we want to access the seller dot transfer, and we want to transfer the message dot value because we have already checked that it's enough, and. Um, we then want to emit uh, item sold um, of the ID and uh, the message dot sender and uh, the price. So uh, asking price. And uh, this is enough for uh, the contract. So. We define an item, we define some uh, events, we make sure that only the owner of the item can put it up for sale and that the market has uh, the approval of actually uh, transferring the item and then we can also uh, buy the item. So in the next um, episode we will start uh, interacting with this uh, contract and uh, put our NFTs up for sale on our marketplace. So see you guys in the next tutorial.